everybody, Carly here, and I am here tonight with Gabriel Ortega. He has been on our worship team for a very long time now. Yep. You may have seen Gabriel playing drums or bass or recently keys and acoustic guitar. It's a lot of things. A lot, it's a lot of things, yeah. But um, we love Gabriel, and recently some of the worship leaders got together and we had a night of songwriting, just seeing what is on our hearts, what did God want us to share with each other and with the church. And Gabriel came with um, a song that was vastly majority, but was already done. Um, and it was wonderful. It's called Nothing Can Separate. And Gabriel, what led you to write this song? Um, what well, let me write the song. Um, so, uh, I had invited a couple friends to church um, a couple years back when I used to live in the yard. And, and the first thing they used, they used to say was, um, I'm too bad to go to church, or like, I'm, I'm very, uh, like, I have too much sin in my, um, in my life, in my history. But, um, and that, and that, like, that kind of like um, impacted me because um, I would think um, they don't know, they don't know like how much God loves them. Yeah. Um, and if they would have known, like, they would have run to church mm -hmm. and to listen to God's word. And um, there's a line. Um, in Romans 8 where it says uh, that God didn't hesitate to put everything on the line for us mm -hmm. so uh, I wish that every single person that uh, maybe hears at some point God's word would understand that uh, we want to preach about a God who uh, gave it all for um, for us for every individual here sitting at church and um, that's yeah. Very important. yeah and I think that message comes across super clear in the song. So what is one of your favorite lines from the song? My favorite line, um, it's I think the line that I struggle the most to be, to, like I was thinking about, should I live this in the song or not? Um, it's uh, the pre-chorus that says, uh, you emptied heaven and you placed it on the cross. And I think um, that line means to me that God didn't care about risking it all to um, pay for um, our sin and to pay for our freedom and to pay for um, whatever he needed to pay for to gain us back. Yeah. And I think that's what um, that's my favorite line and what what embodies the whole meaning of the song. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And as the church now is going to learn it, and we're going to sing it as a body of believers. What do you hope that as we sing it, that we maybe, um, what do you hope maybe hits us or what, what do we leave with as we are singing the words of this song? I hope that every single person understands that there's nothing between us and God's love. Um, like uh, a lot of people think that, you know, you know, your history, like whatever you did in the past, two days ago, a day ago, an hour ago, um, that doesn't really matter. Um, God is with open arms um, waiting for you, waiting for um, you to, to see how much he loves you so that we can, you know, love him back and uh, for our lives into um, him. So. Yeah, 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 it's really cool. I can't wait for everybody to sing it. And um, we are going to play it for you now, just a stripped down acoustic version. And that way you guys can kind of have a heads up for the song before we preview it and kind of debut it on the weekend. Cool. Yeah.
Oh